Isn't that beautiful? I love it, man. I just look at that light and I am so stoned, you guys. It's beautiful. I'm not going to change for anybody or anything. I can't. Like, it's literally impossible for me to change. Like, I got into this argument with this friend of mine who's, like, extremely OCD. And I'm extremely OCD, too, but in a complete opposite way. So he's OCD about, like, uh, clean freakery. And I'm OCD about non-clean freakery. And I couldn't explain to him that, you know, that's just the way that I am and he's not going to change me because it's like... I've been alive for almost 36 years and I've always been the same in that regard, you know, like you can't really change shit that's been set in stone from the get go. And, you know, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about because he's one of those Gen Z kids that thinks he knows everything. But, you know, um, not 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 knocking Gen Z. I love Gen Z, but that's the one thing that he gets wrong is that like he thinks that he can change my behavior like. Once you hit a certain level, like, and this is true of anybody, not just me. Once you hit a certain level, like, of, of time, like, the stuff that you are will remain, you know? And, like, I am very, very disorganized. I've always been disorganized. That's not going to change. And I get very, very perturbed when anybody tries to change that about me. Every single guy I've ever dated has to just accept the fact that I am a mess freak. Uh, every single time that my parents have tried to get me to clean shit or, you know, they, they get very frustrated by the fact that, you know, I stay up all night and, you know, I'm, I'm very much myself. It's like they just have to accept that that's how I am, man. And... And, like, there's nothing they can do to change me. And all this behavior and modification is useless for a person that is as free as I am mentally. And that's the beautiful thing about mental illness that I wish that people could understand. Like, we're a thousand times freer than all these pieces of shit in this country that are so easily controlled and manipulated. Um, like, their behavior is modified through everything that you can imagine, whether it's the food that they eat or the all the media that they consume on a regular basis, the technology that they use on a regular basis, um, the education system, all that. It's intention is to modify your behavior. And anybody that's cray-cray can, can see that shit. And we can smell it. And we go, that doesn't smell good. We don't want that. That stinks. And <laughs> the regular-ass sheep... They, they can't smell that stink. They have no idea that it stinks. And so they just keep going after it. And so whenever really terrible things happen to them and, and they are just a miserable sack of shit, they have no idea why or how. And so they're completely blindsided by all these pieces of shit and the elite and the media and the education system and just the advertisements and... Um, all the corporations, they, they just have no idea that they're constantly being thwarted and um, convinced to buy into a bunch of crap that will make them miserable, you know? And um, I don't know. It's like I feel like it's my job to, to inform them, but it's not like they listen to me anyway, so it's kind of futile over here. But I don't know. It's, it's still important and I know that because I'm an artist or whatever, like, people will be interested in me for that alone. But I know that I'm really hard to take. I know that I'm pretty obnoxious. And, like, what's so funny to me is how many people think I'm not aware of this. Like, they feel the need to tell me, like, you're wearing mismatched socks. Or did you know that that, that you come across this one? Did you know that you should have killed yourself a long time ago? Well, aren't you glad that I'm here?